Hey Curious. Inspired by the life of comedian Chris Rock, Everybody Hates Chris shows in a funny way how it was growing up in Brooklyn in the 80s, and often tackles serious issues, but always making everyone laugh in the end. Almost 20 years after the first episode, how is the cast of the series? How do they look like? Well, that's what we'll discover today. So, without further ado, let's go. That's a dollar nine cent in the trash. That's two dollars on fire. That's 49 cent of spilt milk dripping all over my table. Somebody gonna drink this milk. Our beloved Julius was played by our even more beloved Terry Crews, who was an actor but also a former football linebacker. After the show Terry gained popularity for his role as Sergeant Terry Jeffords in Brooklyn Nine-Nine and showcased his action chops in the Expendables franchise alongside Stallone. Besides his acting career, Cruz has been a vocal advocate against toxic masculinity and an ambassador for sexual assault awareness. Currently he hosts the popular talent show America's Got Talent. My calls? Who are you hollering at? Hold my calls. Hold your own damn call. I do not need this. My man has two jobs. Tashina Arnold played the fun and angry Rochelle in Everybody Hates Chris, a mother that we love but also has a certain fear. After the series, Tashina was in several not well-known productions like the series Survivor's Remorse in 2014 and Lockdown in 2018. Currently she stars as Tina Butler in the comedy The Neighborhood, a TV sitcom that revolves around the lives of two families from different cultural backgrounds, an African-American family and a Caucasian family, who become neighbors in a Los Angeles neighborhood. Please pick on us some more. That a hockey jersey you got? That is a hockey jersey. That is a hockey jersey. You don't have a hockey jersey. No, I don't. No. Ben, why? Give it to me. Give it to me. Make me. What? Whoa! Tequan Richmond, also known as t -Rich in his music career, portrayed Drew, Chris' younger brother. After the show Tequan had a notable role in the American soap opera General Hospital, where he played T.J. Ashford from 2012 to 2018, during 137 episodes. Besides that, he also starred in the fantasy crime series The Unsettling, showcasing his ability to tackle different genres. One of his most recent roles was in the comedy series Boomerang, as Bryson Breuer in 2018. Count your change out loud. Lick your fingers. Make sure your bills don't stick. There's a bamboo stick under the counter, in case anybody give you any trouble. Like who? A panda? Bam! Boo! Antonio Fargas played Doc, Chris Boss at the neighborhood grocery store, but also played the role of Mr. Harris and Sweet Tooth in the show. After Everybody Hates Chris, he returned to small roles in some productions, appearing in shows such as House of Lies as Mr. Zhang in 2014, as Lieutenant Liu in the series Man and Wife in 2017, and in the medical CBS series Code Black as Harold. His latest role was in the 2023 comedy movie One Year Off as Charlie Brooks. Chris, can I borrow a pencil? Dude, you are so in there. Hello, Chris. Dude, you are so in there. Vincent Martella played Greg, Chris' best friend. Beyond his role in the series, Martella is widely recognized for his iconic voice acting performance as Phineas in the Disney animated series Phineas and Ferb. In addition to his voice acting success, Martella has made notable appearances in live-action productions like the hit series The Walking Dead, showcasing his versatility as an actor in the dramatic post-apocalyptic setting. Furthermore, he also voiced Bradley in the animation Milo Murphy's Law. It's Chris's new school project. Oh, cool. So, what's the baby's name? I didn't really name it. Can we call him Junebug? Junebug? Man, what kind of name is Junebug? It's better than what I was thinking of. The Incredible Edible Baby. I Tyler James Williams portrayed the star of the show. Following his success on Everybody Hates Chris, Williams continued to make strides in his career, like the role of Lionel in the movie Dear White People in 2014. His most popular role since Everybody Hates Chris is definitely as Gregory, a teacher, in the sitcom Abbott Elementary, which earned him a Golden Globe for Best Supporting Actor in 2023. The show has been on the air since 2021, and Tyler remains one of the main characters. It's a full scholarship. I'll do whatever it takes. All right then, I'll help you out. Oh, this is great. Thanks. <sighs> now give me some skin. I've always wanted to do that. 
Jacqueline Mazzarella portrayed Ms. Morello, Chris Teacher. Following the conclusion of the show, Mazzarella has continued her career taking on various small characters and making appearances in notable series. She showcased her versatility by appearing in shows such as Fresh Off the Boat, Jane the Virgin, and The Morning Show, bringing her talent to the screen in different genres and storylines. Her most recent movie, released in 2021, is the thriller Paradise Cove. Well, he went to a dollar theater to watch the movie Airplane, when ironically, a chemical toilet fell out of an airplane, crashed through the roof, and crushed him. Tragic. Tragic! Ernest Thomas brought the womanizer character Mr. Omar to life, the tenant of Chris' family and the owner of a funeral home. After the show, he made appearances in productions such as the comedy drama series Veep and the horror film The Lords of Salem. One of Thomas' most prominent roles post Everybody Hates Chris was in the comedy film Funny People, where he shared the screen with acclaimed actors Adam Sandler and Seth Rogen. His latest role was in the movie The Gods 2, The Dark Side, from 2023. Chris. Hey! Little dude from across the street. Let me hold a dollar. Hey, man, can I talk to you for a minute? Yeah. Later on. Known for taking a dollar from Chris every time he saw him, Jerome is played by the actor and rapper Kevin Tay Jackson. Also known as Kay Jackson, he continued to make small appearances in series like Animal Kingdom in 2016, Heart of Dixie as Carl in 2015, and in Dear White People as Uncle Ed in 2021. His latest acting job was as the flagman in the comedy Blunt News, and his most recent song is called Last Man Standing, and you can find it here on YouTube. Deja vu. Imani Hakim portrayed Tanya, Chris' younger sister. In addition to her role on the show, Hakim has taken on other notable projects, like her remarkable performance as Olympic gold medalist Gabby Douglas in the award-winning film The Gabby Douglas Story in 2014. Her portrayal of the inspiring athlete earned critical acclaim and further solidified her talent as an actress. Currently, Hakim can be seen in the role of Dana, in the Apple TV Plus comedy series, Mythic Quest. Chris, what are you doing? These are for you. Boy, you're so crazy. I thought about being shivering. Boy, you're so crazy. Chris' love interest Tasha is played by the amazing Paige Heard. After the show, she had roles in different kinds of productions like Justin Bieber's music video Never Let You Go in 2010, and in series like Hawaii 5 0 as Samantha Grover, and recently in the drama series The Oval as Gail Franklin. Her latest role is as Lauren in the crime drama series Power Book 2, Ghost, from 2023. The series is both a sequel and spin-off of the series Power. I've heard what you've been saying, Metal Lark. What? I haven't been saying anything. You don't think I have enough problems without people thinking I'm going around stopping other people's teeth out? Do I need that? Then who's been saying it then? The Eternal Bullies of Chris and Greg, Caruso, was portrayed by Travis Flory. After the series, Travis had only a few acting roles, with his last one being in the movie Little Boy in 2015 as Soda Fountain Clerk. After that, he stepped away from his acting career, moved to a small town in California, and even on the internet, he hasn't appeared anymore, and there have been no further news or images of him since then. Hell with what? Look, you the smartest person I know. Sad but true. So I need you to help me to get into high school. Wait, why you want to break into high school? There's nothing worth stealing. I know I made that mistake before. The actor, comedian and rapper Ricky Harris portrayed the character of Malvo, the neighborhood troublemaker. After the show he had only minor roles in some productions like the series Dark Blue, Battlefield America and the movie Dope. Sadly, Ricky Harris passed away on December 26, 2016, at the age of 54. His death was attributed to a heart attack. His last role was on the comedy movie The Workout Room in 2019. Well, all this reminds us of good times watching Everybody Hates Chris, and another thing we need to remind you of is to like and subscribe here, so that this video reaches other planets that don't know one of the best sitcoms ever made. Hey! <laughs>
See you in the next video, over and out.